Hallelujah. I hope you praise the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and you're ready to receive now during active prayer. This is a time whenever I pray for you for deliverance, for healing, however the Holy Spirit moves me. I do pray about every, uh, before I go into this prayer, I pray to the Lord, asking him, seeking him on what to do. And so um, he wants me to pray uh, deliverance. And I think there's some physical healing that needs to take place in some people. So I was getting from the Lord. So I'm going to begin to pray. And uh, whenever you're having someone pray over you like this, you want to receive from the Lord. So deliverance prayers, you know, you may want to have a Bible and attack that devil. If you have a pain in your body as I start to pray, put that sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, right over it. And uh, command it out of you, whatever it is. Um, if you have any physical, physical healing, if I pray for that today, put the Bible there too. It's the living Word of God, sharpening a two-edged sword, right? Piercing, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and joint and marrow. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to begin to pray. But um, if um, I'm praying a deal where you're not being delivered or not going through deliverance, you're not yawning stuff out, burping, um, you may just open your hands up, receive from the Father. You know, if I'm speaking of physical healing for something, receive from Him. Okay? Well, I'm going to begin to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all things. May your name be glorified and magnified in all we do. Oh, help us to stay pure for you, pure for you, Father God, and you, Jesus. Thank you for bringing that word on my heart, Father God, to preach, Lord. I pray I'd be better in that area, Father God, for myself, Lord, as well as everybody out here, Lord. I pray for everybody out, everybody out here listening, that they would desire to be pure for you, Jesus, and you, Father God, so your Holy Spirit can dwell through us, live in us, reside in us easily, freely. So we don't defile ourselves in any way, shape, or form. Father God, I ask you to fill me with the Holy Spirit now and the Holy Ghost fire. Lord, right now, Father God, in Jesus' name, I pray for everybody out here to be set free, Father God, delivered of all physical infirmities, of all death, in Jesus Christ's name. I bind, I bind the strong man and everyone out here right now, listening and in the future. You're bound right now. The strong man is bound by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come against every evil spirit of death. You're bound. In Jesus' name, death cannot have them. You must let go of them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I separate all death spirits right now from their mind, soul, and flesh. Now I draw the bloodline in Jesus Christ's name. Any part of the heart that you hold death, I separate it from you now or any generational parts. All the way back to Adam and Eve and all curse of death are broken off these people. All the way back to Adam and Eve. Now things are divided. Now in Jesus Christ's name, all heart and mind parts come out that had death of any type, fear of death, go with the Lord Jesus. Generational parts go with the Lord Jesus, come out of them now. Broken parts go. Go with the Lord Jesus now. And all spirits of fear be bound as well in Jesus Christ's name. Fear you're bound, you let go of their hearts and mind and soul. All parts of their hearts that you hold, I loose from your grasp now in Jesus Christ's name. Any weapons in their mind of fear, I pull out and cast to the abyss now in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire on you, devils. Holy Ghost, fire on you, devils. Holy Ghost, fire on the strong man. I strip you of all your armor and cast it to the abyss in Jesus' name. All spirits of fear, let go of them. Now, fear and death, you're bound as one with the threefold cord. I bind you up, as it's spoken in Ecclesiastics. You're bound as one with the threefold cord in Ecclesiastics 4. In Jesus' name, you all now are going to leave them. I break the generational curses, allow death in and fear. They're broken back to Adam and Eve. If anyone out here needs to repent of fear, do it now. Specifically, fear of death. If anybody has any fears of death, repent. Say, I'm not afraid of death because Jesus Christ lives in me and I will live in eternity with him forever and ever. Death, you have nothing over me. Jesus took the keys. Of death and hell, amen, to die is gain. So I trust you, Jesus, with my heart, my life. I give it to you. I have no fears of death any longer. Good. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all fear and death spirits are bound. I command you out of them now. Go to the abyss. Come out. Go to the abyss now. In Jesus Christ's name, let go of their heart, mind, soul now. Out in Jesus Christ's name. Out in Jesus Christ's name. Holy Ghost, fire on you in Jesus' name. Ask for the holy angels to be loosed and pull these demons out of them. Out to the pit you go. Fear and death go. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Right now, go in Jesus' name. 
any fear of heart attack, you're bound. The fear of heart attack is bound. The generational curse of heart attack is broken all the way back to Adam and Eve on both sides of their bloodline. Any spirit sitting in their heart, you're bound. You come out of them now with fear. Go. In Jesus' name, fear and torment. You go to the pit now in Jesus Christ's name. The curse is broken. Get out. In Jesus' name, go. Go. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. Death has lost its sting. You have no victory over these people anymore. You must come out of them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All death spirits, go. All death curses are broken off of these people out here now. All the saints, all death curses are broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All witchcraft death curses are broken in Jesus Christ's name. Every spirit of death is bound. Go to the abyss now in Jesus Christ's name. I'm supposed to pray for healing. Some uh, physical healing on wounds, some kind of wounds. I pray for physical healing on the heart from emotional wounds. In Jesus' name, I command healing. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire on the heart. The physical heart be healed from emotional wounds in Jesus' name. The physical heart be healed all the way back to when you were conceived. Be healed in Jesus' name of emotional wounds. The physical heart be healed right now. Come in a divine order in Jesus Christ's name. All synapses, neurons, muscles, valves, strengthened in Jesus Christ's name on the physical heart. Arteries opened up. Veins opened up if they're uh, congested or dilated. Or constricted, excuse me. If they're constricted or congested, be open in Jesus' name. Back in divine order. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the physical heart, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. 100% restored now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All arrhythmia is not of God. Come in a divine order. The beat of the heart, come in a divine order. The beat of the heart, come in a divine order in Jesus' name. The rhythm of the heart, come in a divine order in Jesus Christ's name now. I break every curse of arrhythmia. Of tachycardia, bradycardia. I break every curse off the hearts of these people out here listening right now in Jesus' name. Be broken. The curse is broken. Every weapon and demon come out of the heart and go to the pit in Jesus' name. Be strengthened now. Be strengthened in Jesus' name. Back into the correct rhythm in Jesus' name. Jesus loves you with everlasting love, an unfailing love. He came to you so that you may have a more abundant life. He came so that all your sins would be forgiven and you'd have a way to the Father in eternity with Him. If you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or if you've gone to church and you believe He is the Lord, but you've never accepted the Holy Spirit and asked for a new beginning with Father and Jesus, it's time for you to do that now. Say, Jesus, I desire to know you more deeply and want you, your Holy Spirit in me. Fill me now. I ask forgiveness for all my sins. I don't want to sin anymore. Fill me with your Spirit, Jesus. I need your Spirit. Is that you? Pray that prayer. We all need the Spirit. And ask for refilling of the Spirit. As you go out and do the works of the gospel, it's going to flow out of you. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I hope you were healed. I pray you were delivered. The Lord told me that was enough for today. If you would desire more deeper prayer, healing, deliverance, reach out to us. We're here for you. We love you. We'd love to minister the gospel to you. Because Jesus came to set the captives free. Amen. He came to heal the broken heart. And that's what our ministry is all about. Well, I'd like to read a blessing over you. If you would open your hands to Father God and I'll pray over you. Heavenly Father, I pray you bless them right now. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, if this uh, ministry has been a blessing for you, if you'd consider supporting us, 
with a tithe or offering, we would appreciate it. We do have expenses and we do have missions trips com coming up. And uh, that takes funds to get there. So God bless. Have a blessed week. Please pray about that, uh, whether you're supposed to uh, support us financially or not. Always do what the Lord tells you to do. God bless. We'll be back next week.